Gun violence here in Chicago has caught national attention. I've had the privilege of going behind the scenes with the creator of Think Before You Shoot, Anthony Sturdivant. The short film series are an anti-gun violence here located in Chicago and casted by members who have been directly affected with gun violence. So Anthony, are you born and raised here in Chicago? Yes, uh, born on the west side of Chicago. Been here uh, all my life, actually. Okay. Yeah. And what's the significance of this house that we're sitting in front of right now? Well, this house is actually where I grew up at. I've been here since I was in fifth grade. I would guess around 12. Okay. Um, and then when I came up with the I Think Before You Shoot series, I figured why not, you know, break the ice right here at my home, so mm -hmm. decided to use this location first. Okay, good. And what type of attention have you been getting with the with the city of Chicago concerning Think Before You Shoot? Well, actually the city loving it. Uh, you know, in Chicago, shootings are being put on a pedestal for some reason here. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, being in a market a lot more than anything else more positive. Mm -hmm. So once someone hear anything positive coming out of Chicago that's actually going against these shootings, right. They were quick to jump on the board and support it, actually. Uh, Good stuff. A lot of kids, a lot of older folks, I mean, pretty much everyone is, has been accepting it. Good. Yeah. And so what age group do you think you're trying to target with this message? Uh, most importantly, I'm trying to reach the youth. Uh, I know it's hard to, to get those that's already in the streets to put guns down or mm -hmm. to think before they shoot because that's pretty much they were raised in the streets. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I could reach the youth to grow up to think before they shoot, mm -hmm. uh, we might be able to change the thought, press, thought process of the, uh, you know, those walking the streets or growing up in Chicago. Last week in Chicago was mm -hmm. like the first week we had some warm weather. Oh, yeah. And sadly, we had about, what, 20 killings or shootings in one night. Yeah. And three people were killed. and. How do, you, how do you feel about that when you wake up in the morning and you see the news and you see that your city is headlined as the worst city in the country? I don't want any of it to come close to home. I, and I really don't want to see any family struggling yeah. or dealing with a death of a family or even a victim, you know, being shot, an innocent victim at that. Mm -hmm. And at this rate, they're, they're getting younger. Yeah. So anytime I hear about 20 shootings in one night, the first thing I think is how young, what for, you know? What was the reason? Was mm -hmm. it worth it? Mm -hmm. and, and how do we stop it? Um, at this rate, it's only going to get higher because of the warm weather, and that's that's sad. Right. Um, it's a lot more out here for these kids to do and for others to do than pick up a gun and shoot. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, I feel like if we get that message out there that there is other things for them to do, maybe we can slow that down. Exactly. Now, do you think with these films that it will? become a domino effect without, you know, the years to come. Like, how soon do you think the gun violence will end well, here in Chicago? Well, I can't put a time schedule on, on when it will end. Um, if I could, I, I would bet my life and I would want it to end as soon as possible, you know, tomorrow. Like yesterday. Could. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but in all honesty, I do believe that the films are having an effect on people. Mm -hmm. um, I, I believe that the more I get it out there, uh, me and my team, uh, the more we get it out there, the more chance, the better chance we have of slowing down mm -hmm. the shootings. Um, I can't say that we could stop it, but even if we slow it down, we could sl save a life or two. So how are you funding this production of Think Before You Shoot? Right now I'm working with a friend of mine who goes by the name of Leon.com. Um, he's the creator and founder of Mudwing Media. Mm -hmm. um, he's actually helping me take care of all the production for the films. Um, the logo, I mean, pretty much anything that's needed to continue to push this message, Leon.com has been there. Mm -hmm. um, so shout out Mudwing Media. Okay. Um, I had met Leon actually back in 2011, and we were talking about some great ideas. We started with music videos. Um, we started with, you know, just coming up again, working on ideas. Mm -hmm. And when the shootings became an issue, mm -hmm. um, I came to Leon because I knew he had the craft and the art to, to come up with uh, a great visual. Mm -hmm. So I told him about a story or, or a series of stories that may be in, in regards to Think Before You Shoot and he put it together for me and we've been going from there. And here it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, right now and we're actually looking for a donation so okay. that we can can continue to push the films. Uh, okay. The donations will go towards t-shirts, DVDs, stickers, mm -hmm. more films, um, you know, looking to make school visits, things like that, just okay. to continue to push the message. Good stuff. Yeah, whatever way we can stop and slow down these shootings, I'm with it. Awesome. Thank you so much, right. Anthony. Oh, thank you. Right. Thank you.
This is the very house that Anthony grew up in, as well as shooting his first episode of Think Before You Shoot. The impact that Anthony and his production team, Mudwing Media, are having on the city of Chicago is extraordinary. To find Anthony on social media, follow him on Twitter at TB4YS and on Facebook at Think Before You Shoot. I'm Shakia Morhagans reporting for TB4YS News.